This is The Sim Pit. I'm your host, Sean Cole, and today we're going to be covering a topic that is an upgrade to your Fnatic wheel, and this being something that is quite long overdue, and that being a way to replace those worn out old Alcantara grips on the formula style wheel rims from Fnatic. Enter the picture, Pineapple Grips of the UK. Now, if you're like me and you've had a Fnatic wheel rim for many, many years, such as my Formula Black wheel rim, which I've probably had for seven, eight years at this point, chances are your grips are very worn out. And if you don't wear gloves, I know your grips are worn out and in desperate need of replacement. In the case of my wheel rim, everything else, there wasn't a scratch on it. It had been upgraded with mag magnetic pedal sh paddle shifters. It was just the grips giving it that dated look and it was in much need of a refreshing or an upgrade. And again, that is where Pineapple Grips come to the rescue with their pre-manufactured and recovered original grips to choose from. Pineapple Grips is based out of the UK and they have a variety of recovering options to choose from covering most of the formula style rims from Fnatic. They offer anything from 3D printed grips to replace your old ones, or you can send in your old grips and a couple of weeks later, they'll return to you re-gripped in your choice of covering. Pineapple Grips has a variety of colors to choose from, and they have different types of leather. Your choice of Alcantara or faux perforated leather, all done by hand by Peter in the UK at a reasonable cost. So before we get too far along, let's go ahead and talk about the different options you have to choose from when it comes to the recovering, starting off with the 3D printed grips and faux leather. This is the fastest option and will set you back 45 pounds or about $61 US. These grips are 3D printed and show the signs of this process when compared to the original manufactured grips. They are then perfectly covered in an embossed smooth leather and they are available in a variety of colors, including two different versions of black, as well as yellow, blue, and red. This variation can also be ordered in a personalized way with the ability to add 10 characters to the ring around the left joystick on the Fnatic wheels. The lettering can be done in your choice of nine colors. That brings the price up to 50 pounds or about $68 here in the States. Now, Pineapple also offers this 3D printed variation in a, a Alcantara version with your choice of seven colors to choose from. This variation is again, a 3D printed grip with the Alcantara that will replace your old grip entirely. In the Alcantara version, the Pineapple 3D printed grip will cost you 50 pounds or $68 in the States. And if you want this version personalized, just add another five pounds bringing the price to 55 pounds or 75 bucks. The final variation of grips from Pineapple actually involve using your original grips on your wheel, meaning that you are gonna have to disassemble your wheel, send in your original grips, and then Pineapple will strip them of the leather, clean them up, install new leather, leather to perfection, and then send them back to you for reinstallation. Now, this is a little less expensive and it does maintain the original grips from the Fnatic wheel, but it does take a little bit of time. This can be done in the same faux leather choices for 40 pounds or $55, or it can be done in the Alcantara choices for 45 pounds or $61. As we filmed this video, Pineapple Grips was looking at about a 13 day lead time. So basically when you place your order, will determine how long it takes to get them back based on how many orders are ahead of you. Now, if you thought to yourself, I like this idea, but I'm not sure about that yellow color. Is that really the yellow color I like? Or maybe I'm considering two colors. I'm not sure which one is perfect. Pineapple does make a swatch kit available where they will send you all of their choices to choose from only costs you about 10 pounds or 13.75 in the US and you get that kit of 30 millimeter square samples so you can make your choice. And if you end up placing an order, you get half your money back on that swatch. So it's just an option for you if you're a little undecided. Now, when it comes to the color choices that we did mention the color choices that are readily available, but they do allude to other colors possibly being available on the color chart at their website. So if there's another wild color that you're considering, you might want to contact Peter directly. Perhaps he can work something out. It'll probably cost a little more money because you'll have to buy more leather than just one wheel, but he might be able to get it done. So just contact him directly. So in my scenario, I had my very worn out old formula black 
Fanatic wheel rim and it had done very well for me. Everything on it worked perfectly, not a scratch on it. And it was such a perfect candidate for getting re-gripped. So I went to the website and I opted for the faux leather. It should hold up longer than the Alcantara and I love the perforated dark red color. So I tore my wheel down and I sent off my grips to be recovered. A few weeks later, they returned and quite honestly, looked like a brand new pair of grips for my very old wheel. So I installed them back onto my rim and then had what looked like a brand new Fanatic wheel, but even better in my choice of color. Now I know I went from purchasing options to there's my wheel ready to go, but I do want to talk about the installation just a little bit, which I would say is a medium level project. It's not super difficult, but it's not super easy. There are a few steps that are involved and it is well covered at the Pineapple Grip website. Now, depending on what model formula rim you're using, there are two different sets of instructions and there are a few early, early models that it can't be re-gripped. You'd know whether it had screws on the back or not. If it has the screw holes, chances are you can re-grip it, but you have all that information at the Pineapple website as well. But it starts with removing your old grips. And for me, I just followed along with their instructions. The demonstration was a Formula Black wheel, which was nearly identical to mine. And after nine steps, my old grips were removed. You just have to follow the instructions. You just have to go in the right order and everything goes very well. From there, when you receive your new grips, you can reverse the steps to put your wheel back together again with the new parts. Nine steps later, you have a brand new wheel rim or what looks like one. My color choice has turned an average wheel into a wheel that I can best describe as sexy. The new wrap is perfectly matched to the grip itself and is glued down to perfection as well. I myself have tried gluing down grips. I've tried making my own 3D grips and covering them in leather and what a nightmare the project was. And in the end, it came out looking like a hack job. Pineapple grips, the finish on them, the glue, the cutting of the material, the way it fits the grip, it looks like it was done by the factory. The faux leather has a good feel to it. No, it's not as soft to the touch as the Alcantara, but it also allows me to race this wheel without gloves if I want and it should hold up rather well. The seam area of the wheel is a bit more pronounced than the stock variation. For one, the eyes can see where the two halves of the grip sandwich together. This is partially because the lighter color of the red shows the shadow of the line and also in part to the perforated leather pattern changing. With my hands, I can feel it slightly if I run my fingertips over the seam, but when driving, I don't feel it at all, even with bare hands. I was also sent a pair of the 3D printed pineapple grips with my order. That way I could feel and see the differences between the two. And the biggest difference being right up the front, I wouldn't have had to tear my wheel down in advance and send my grips in and wait for their return before putting it back together again. I could order the grips, wait for them to come in, and then go right into the process. Now the process for the most part is really the same. The biggest difference being the alignment pins that need to be installed on the new version and then using the machine screws that are included to put it back together again. Other than that, you'll follow along with the instructions and nine steps later, the grips are off and work those steps backwards and you have a completed wheel again. It took me about 15 minutes per side and only two Allen wrenches along with a small screwdriver to do the project. As a 3D printed handle, these grips are not quite as smooth as the manufactured stock handles. You can see the typical lines of 3D printed construction in the plastic area of the grip. It's a good 3D print and it's pretty smooth for the 3D process, but not as smooth or not as nice a finish as the standard Fanatic grips. However, there is one advantage of the 3D grips in that they can actually be personalized. My set has my name printed on the ring around the left-hand joystick on the wheel. The overall shape is perfect and is the exact same as the Fanatic stock grip. The covering of these grips is also near perfect. Very smooth placement of the leather, very perfect trim, and very perfect gluing. Things that I just can't do at this level 
Since these were done in black faux leather, the seam isn't as noticeable to your eyes as the red, but your fingertips can still feel the seam a little bit when searching for it. Under normal usage, there is no seam. Functionally speaking, both pairs of pineapple grips worked very well on the wheel rim. When out on the track, I basically couldn't tell the difference between the two, the 3D printed ones versus the original molded ones. That is, at least as long as my hands were on the faux leather. Now when my thumbs drifted up to the thumb holes of the 3D printed ones, I definitely could feel the lines in the grip a little bit. It's a slight texture. Perhaps some might even like it for a little bit of grip sensation instead of smooths. Others might see it as being inferior to the stock grip smoothness. The 3D printed grips were also very strong. I twisted on them, I squeezed them, and I never heard or felt any kind of movement or anything that would make me think they wouldn't hold up. And being that both variations of mine were covered in the faux leather, it meant that I could ditch the gloves if I want to and not worry about wear of Alcantara. It's a choice that I made and it's a comfort that I actually prefer long term over Alcantara for my selection. They both did a great job of freshening up my old wheel and taking the only part of the wheel that really showed any signs of wear and made it brand new again and personalized with color or even my name. I just love the ability or the freedom to be able to choose a color to match your rig, match your styling, maybe match your team colors, whatever you're trying to do, but it definitely personalizes things and takes it one step further than a stock Fanatic rim. I can even make the argument for doing this to a brand new rim, not in need of grips, just to have the color choice on my wheel. I also love the ability to get rid of the Alcantara. I swear, I now have a love-hate relationship with Alcantara. Sure, it feels great. Sure, it's fine or high-end, but it just wears out so darn quickly. It forces you to wear gloves, which I could argue indoors just isn't necessary, or maybe not the way that I want to do my sim racing, mainly for heating issues, but also for simplicity's sake. I just don't need the bulk of gloves. It actually changes the way I drive. So being able to ditch the Alcantara, have something that still feels good on my hand and won't wear out very quickly, all is a big, big bonus for a wheel rim that you care about and want to protect for a long time. So I hope I've told you everything that you want to know about the pineapple grips and the process of getting them so that you can put them on your own rim. And, and really, outside of selling your used wheel rim and buying a brand new one to, to replace worn out grips, this is really the best option. And then obviously, I mean, this is a project that you could always take on yourself. You could take your grips off, you could strip the fabric off, and hopefully you do a better job than I did of putting the leather back on the grips. Otherwise, it's gonna look like, well, like my DIY wheel, which wasn't exactly pretty. So I wanna thank Peter Parnell of Pineapple Grips for sending me these, letting me test them out, letting me show them to you. And most of all, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up so we know we're doing the right thing. And of course, subscribe so you can be informed when we put out new videos, new reviews, and things like this. Thank you for watching. This is The Sim Pit. I'm Sean Cole, and I'll see you on the track.